All right, let's look at some of the features of the Nest Smart Learning Thermostat. You can push the dial in to go into a dashboard where you can see the weather today and modify the system to heat or cool or actually to perform both um, automatically. Let's go into settings. Um, you can control the uh, fan settings manually from here. Uh, you can have it to run every day um, automatically or even start now. If you have children, the lock fun function gives you uh, the ability to lock the thermostat, which is really nice. The away settings, um, how hot or how cool the home should be cooled or heated while you're away. And then Nest Sense, this is where all the smart features are. So we'll, we'll go through each one of these. The auto away, it'll detect if you're home or not home, so it sets your temperature correctly for you. The auto scheduling, um, again, will sense when you're um, modifying the uh, heating or the cooling options and it will automatically set up a schedule for you. Time to temperature shows you the temperature um, and the time it will take to reach that temperature. Early on um, you can have the system actually start cooling or heating a little bit sooner so that it reaches the target temperature more quickly. Heat pump balance, if you have a heat pump this will uh, save um, some energy if you use one of the leaf options here. I've got it set for max savings and it will um, take a little bit longer for your system to heat up um, if you do one of the leaf options there. And this can help reduce humidity. That's uh, a nice one, cool to dry. If your thermostat's in the sun, this will detect that and modify it um, based on the sun's location. The leaf option um, just kind of explains a few things about how the leaf saves you energy. An airwave, this is a nice useful option. It'll actually keep running your fan um, after it turns off the condenser. Um, that way it gets all the cool air out of your uh, duct work and helps cool your home. You can have it set up to uh, remind you of doing uh, to change your air filters. That's a nice option. And then the brightness, you can do a low, medium, high, or I have mine set on auto using the uh, sensor that it has built in. It'll automatically change depending on the brightness. The display, wake, you can have it, um, you have to push the dial in for it to wake up or you can have it wake up automatically as you approach it. Far sight, so you can set up the um, display. So if you're far away from the display, it'll um, display either the uh, digital clock, analog clock, or the uh, target temperature. And then we've got you know your Fahrenheit Celsius settings depending on which one you want to select. Um, and here you can set the location of the thermostat. There's several options to choose from, or you can actually um, add a label here if you do not see an option that uh, matches your needs. And then there's account settings and network settings, language information that we've already seen earlier in the review process. Here's the equipment based on the uh, wiring that it's detected. Um, and then it'll actually display all that information here. Or you can manually select and set it up yourself. And then there's some technical information and uh, legal information, and you can reset the whole system. And that's pretty much it. That's the uh, Nest Learning Thermostat. Thank you.